Hey guys, it's Christian here from Core Electronics. Uh, today we're going to get started installing the IDE for the SparkFun Redboard and the relevant drivers so that we can start to program it. If you head to our website, I've set a link on the photo here. Just click on that and it'll take you to the installer. Um, click on this link here and it should install the software package. Mine's already installed here and we'll just go through the installation process. So we want to agree to these terms. Usually it's good to leave the default configuration here. And you want to remember where this destination folder is because this comes in later when we're trying to install the actual drivers necessary to run the redboard. So click install and it should extract and begin the installation. It might be helpful to note at this point in time that you can download the actual code written by the makers of the guide so that that can help you in uploading the code without having to write it yourself. It might be a little difficult for you to jump into all the Arduino programming and the hardware component at the same time. So they've actually written a nice little manual that's linked in the tutorial section here. So if you follow that link, uh, it will allow you to download that code. Bear in mind that we're looking for the SparkFun Inventors Kit version 4.0a. I believe it's labeled. Now that the Arduino ID is installed, we can close that and we can connect the red board to the computer via means of the USB cable that's provided. So we just plug that in there, the computer will load that up. So what we want to do is we want to look at the device manager down on our computer and we should have a USB serial port installed here. Now what's happened is for my computer, it has actually, when installing the IDE, installed the Adafruit software that will allow it to register the SparkFun board. So here, my USB is labeled as COM9. Now, if you're following along on the tutorial website, uh, you might see that it will come up as suggested here with a USB serial port. Just click on the device manager, um, find where that USB serial port is and hit properties and you should be able to go into driver and update the driver. So from there, you can browse the computer and it should link you to this place, which is where you've installed the actual IDE, as mentioned before. So if you load that up, it should allow you to search for it there and it should say that the best driver is installed or it should allow you to do that. If that's not the case, um, by all means, consult our forum and we will help you out there. Now that that's all sorted, we can open up the Arduino IDE and we can get started with that. So we'll be doing a Hello World example as shown here um, and we will be making sure that the right COM port and board are selected. So up the top here, I have a file called practice. That file is something that I made earlier and it is essentially just our hello world introduction to Arduino. So along the top is all the different menus that we have. So to make sure that our board is installed right, we're going to go into the tools menu. We're gonna to go to port and we're gonna select COM9. So I'm selecting COM9 because in our device manager, it said that the SparkFun Redboard was connected to port 9. For you guys, it might be any number from 0 to 99. So just make sure that in that tool section under port, it's connected to COM9. Now, uh, the board, it's pretty important that it's selected to the Arduino Genuino Uno. And once that's connected, it's pretty well good to go. I'll walk you through the sketch itself. So to get started, all we're gonna do is assign pin 13 um, to be an output. So this is done through the pin mode operation. And uh, as we know from the first video, pin 13 is connected to an LED here, which is uh, shows the state of the current pin. So what we're gonna write is we're going to uh, define that it, pin 13 is an output, meaning that we write data to it and then it produces an output. Then we're going to use the digital write function to write to pin 13 and we're going to write a high to it. Then, so that we can actually see the flashing, we're going to delay it um, for 
one second or a thousand milliseconds. Then we're going to digital write a low to pin 13. And then we're going to delay it again. Okay, um, once this is done, we can verify the code and it will ask us to save what the code is called. So I'm just going to save it over practice. Uh, once it's verified, which you can see down here, it compiles it and makes sure that there's no errors or bugs in the code. Um, once that's done, it'll say done compiling and it'll tell us here that it's ready to be uploaded there. So we can hit upload, it'll recompile it just in case we've changed it. It'll tell us uh, how much of the available data, onboard data that it's actually used and it will upload. So it says here that it's done uploading and if we look here, this pin 13 is flashing on and off with a delay of a second in between each state change. That is essentially how you connect and install the IDE, how you connect the breadboard to the IDE and how you install the IDE in relevant drivers. Uh, now that that's done and we've assembled the base plate, we're ready to get started with the actual projects that are listed in the Spark Fun Inventors Guide. I'll see you there.